<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? Hey guys, Sean Mayo here, and uh, today I wanted to go over uh, the new Storefront Stalker Pro and integrating it into Tactical Arbitrage. Uh, it's quite an easy process, and if you see uh, in the reverse product search now, if we go up to reverse search and reverse search again, it'll take us to this page. And uh, now there's a new option for scanning bestsellers. Now this is only if you have Storefront Stalker Pro. Uh, and if you don't, you can go to uh, storefronthacker.com and we have a great um, bonus package if you sign up. And what uh, Storefront Stalker Pro, if you're not familiar with it, it'll let you go to uh, any page, any search result uh, on Amazon. Also go to anybody's uh, actual storefront and download all the products that they have for sale, uh, up to 100 pages on a storefront. Uh, or up to 400 pages on a search because that's as far as Amazon allows when you do searches. Uh, and it's going to download them all into a spreadsheet in OAX ray format, tactical arbitrage format, or just a general format that you can uh, format for whatever you need. Uh, but now you're able to integrate that right into uh, tactical arbitrage. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, if you have it, all you need to do is um, get your uh, receipt number. Now if you don't have this number you can contact Nate McAllister in the comments. I'm going to put a link to the thread in the Tactical Arbitrage Facebook group. This is the post right here. I will give you that link uh, or you can just go to Tactical Arbitrage or um, the Facebook group and you can get that information. You should have it in your email. If not you can go to gumroad.com slash library, find Storefront Stalker Pro, and then select the um, uh, the request to get a, um, a receipt sent to you. And you get that to your email. It's just a five or six digit number that you put uh, into the settings and we're going to go in there and I'll show you how to do it right now. Okay, and it's actually a nine digit number so if we go up to settings and you click on that it's going to open the settings menu uh, and uh, here you can see if you scroll down under the Walmart API key above your notifications you see storefront stalker key optional for best sellers feature and this does have to be approved by Nate so once you put it in uh, then um, he'll have to approve that for you and uh, you'll be able to do it. And then you just enter your number here. I'm of course not going to enter mine because then everyone would be using mine. So uh, you enter that, you click on save, and, uh, and that's it. Then you come back over here and uh, as you can see I'm actually running a scan now. I'm, I'm going to close that so we can see how to do it from scratch. And in the bestseller section, of course, please be sure to uh, click the checkbox, or it may just be running the last uh, bulk scan that you did. I actually do this quite often, so um, I forget about it a lot. And uh, make sure you click that box, or it won't work. And it's going to go down to four levels of searching. So uh, it defaults to appliances, which is the first in the list. But you can select any of these categories, um, you know, toys and games, for example. And then um, let's look at building toys and then uh, building sets and not all categories are going to have four levels so some things may not go that far um, and some may go further but this is uh, as far as is supported uh, so now we're going to look at let's see storage and accessories uh, and then you can click on use last filter and you don't have to use uh, these as you can see there's an all for everything so you go to toys and games and search for all um, and leave the rest of them set to all and it will um, it will search that but of course if there's you know 500,000 or 5 million things um, it's not going to look at all of them because uh, you know there is a limit on the amount of pages it can download so 
Um, you're going to use your filter settings. Everyone knows what I usually use, 100K, 50%, uh, out of stock results. Um, you can set them however you want or use them uh, how you're currently using them. You can also, uh, a new option is to show uh, also the title matching. So uh, if you do it this way, it's going to take the uh, ASIN, it's going to try and pull a UPC code out of the actual um, Amazon listing. If and Now they're required, but at some point in the past they, they weren't required. So uh, if there's a UPC match to it, it's going to try and find that UPC on all of the sites. Um, so you'll be able to look at more sites because all um, of the source sites don't uh, accept UPC matches. And you can uh, look at the UPC matches. If you click right here where it says domains with UPC, it's going to take you to a, a Google Sheet that's going to show you all the sites uh, that search UPC. And now uh, Tactical Arbitrage does support over 400 sites now somewhere around 410 when I'm making this video, but that grows almost every single day. So it only is going to check uh, your home country. Uh, so again, if we go back over to uh, the settings, uh, it's gonna look from sourcing area. So you can select USA, UK, Canada, or Australia, and then it's going to check all the sites uh, that are um, that are supported by tactical arbitrage. So there's over 300 sites on um, on the U.S. side. Uh, so there's a ton of sites to search. But if you search U.K., it's going to search all the U.K. sites, etc. And if you want to do title matching, uh, you click that box; it'll do that as well. So um, we already have our um, our filters selected, and we hit submit. And now it's now it's going to check all of those products. You can see for our search, it found 3,465. Uh, it can find up to 9,600 because uh, um, usually that's what uh, comes up in the pages. Uh, and it's going to search each ASIN and try and find matches at all the sites. So we can see this first ASIN, whatever it is, uh, found it at Kmart, it found it at Target, it found it at Walmart. Um, now the ROI was not good enough at any of those, so it skips those, um, and then it's going to move on to the next product and the next product uh, until it's completely done. Now what this does is, is this lets you do it um, a lot more quickly, uh, and you're not going to have to go to Amazon, do the search, and then download it, and then upload the file into the bulk search. You'll just be able to select it directly through Tactical Arbitrage. Now, I do want to show you an error uh, that uh, is very common that people have been having questions about. If you see this message where it says reverse search list done, whoops, please don't forget to set valid image data before hitting submit next time and then done again. Uh, if you see something like this, then uh, this just means there's nothing available. Uh, for best sellers because we're doing a best seller search um, So that means you're just looking at too much But it, see if I pulled this back a couple levels and we tried doing the search again um, You'll see that uh, The data comes up so that that just means that uh, You went to uh, some levels too deep and while there are those levels there uh, it may not uh, actually have anything uh, in there because this isn't just the products in the category, this is pulling, uh, you know, the Amazon created bestsellers list. And as you can see, um, Tactical Arbitrage is finding uh, a ton of results from some of these. Uh, as you can see here, there's actually uh, 10 different stores that it found a result here. Uh, so uh, you're going to find uh, a ton of data, and if one or multiple of those match, then it's going to pull them all into your results page. And you can just click on product search and then view reverse, and it's going to show you uh, all the results that it's, it's found. And uh, that's about all there is to it, guys. Uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any other questions, send me a PM or send me an email or a message, and uh, we'll be happy to put together some more videos on uh, 
anything you have with your Amazon business or tactical arbitrage. Thanks a lot.